Hi Stampers, it's Madeline from StampWithMadeline.com and today Paper Pumpkin came in the mail. So I haven't even opened it yet. I wanted to wait and share it with all of you and I can't wait to open it. So let's take a look and see what's inside this month. So this is February 2017's uh, Paper Pumpkin box and they're doing a deal right now that I'll tell you as I'm trying to open this where if you buy three boxes, it's on sale for $55 and you get a celebration item which is huge. So, oops, let me just get it up. This really shows you that I did not open it until this video. There we go. Okay, let's see. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, so right off the bat, we can see that it is a happy birthday kit. Happy to you, birthday, come with me, celebrate, all these cool... Um, different shapes. We have a two and you. Treat yourself. You deserve it. To and from. So for nice tags. Pull. Hmm. Let's see what this is. So we have two Stampin' Spots. This is the Island Indigo. And also Flirty Flamingo. Alright. Let's see what the actual project is in here in this nicely wrapped kit. Oh my gosh. Oh, look how cute this is. So this is Many Happy Birthdays. So that's the kit for this February. And it looks like really cute um, cards that hold gift cards in it. Wow, they look super, super cute. So it has nine candle pocket cards with envelopes. So it makes nine different cards, but... Um, once we look inside this kit, there's always lots of different projects that you can make with it. So let's open it up and take a look at what is exactly in this kit. <clears throat> so what I love about the paper pumpkins is that, first of all, they come with everything you need. So they have a block already with them, they have the stamps, they have the, the ink pads, and sometimes they give you like a marker or something else for coloring. But the thing I really love is that it has nice picture d directions uh, for the project. And that's huge um, because sometimes it's really hard to just look at word directions uh, and figure out what they're you know, trying to mean for you. But this is super easy uh, and it tells you everything that should be in the kit for you. It teaches you how to stamp. And what I love is that like after a certain amount of time, you can look on Pinterest and on YouTube and like people make tons and tons of different projects with this kit. So let's look and see what's in here. Ooh, I love glitter paper. Look at this glitter paper. So this is all already pre-cut for us. So if you look on the back, it's all of the um, like candle-shaped flames. Um, but look at this. Lots of scrap around the outside that we're not going to be using. So that could be part of a project. Oh, these are so cute. So these are for the actual card. So really nice um, designer series paper with like a little hole for, um, I'm guessing, a sentiment. So there's three of this one. I'm guessing three of this pattern. And it's already all pre-adhesive for you even too. So they really make it simple for you. This would be a great thing to like bring in the car if you're going on a road trip um, or if you're going to be like in a waiting room for a while. Um, this is perfect because it has everything you need. In the first month that you subscribe, you get a clear block. So you really have everything you need to make the project in here. <clears throat> Three of those. All right, what else? Oh, so cute. Look, they're like little um, invitations that you can put inside. Oh my gosh. Love it. So then these are the little pull tags that you put inside of the card and they have little um, slits in it for you to put the gift card or for the, um, the party invitation. So that could slip right in there as well. And then these super cute envelopes. Really cute. Well, let's get to work and let's make one because I just love this kit. So what the plan is tonight is that I'm going to make one card like the project. 
but then I'm going to brainstorm uh, and make a project with this kit that you could make um, that is different than what they recommend. So what I'm going to do first is just fold on all of these lines. This is just such a cute card. So if we look into the directions of what our steps are, this is what I always refer back to. So we're going to fold the score lines of the card. You're going to peel the uh, adhesive backing from the card, center, and attach the candle flame. So right here, is where you're peeling off the adhesive so that you can put the candle flame there. Just like that in the center. And then you're going to take off this one too and you're actually going to seal the card shut. This is going to go like this. Okay, there we go. And then we're just closing this up. Let's just make sure. Alright. <clears throat> so that is super easy. And then we're going to take this and we're actually going to insert it all the way up. So you want the <clears throat> little pull tab to stay at the bottom, just like that. So it should look like this. Then you're going to stamp in here. So it really could be anything that you want. Um, I'm going to do celebrate. Let's see if that'll fit in there. Yep, perfect. So I'm going to use my block and stamp that right in there. And these are all photopolymer stamp sets, so you're going to want your piercing pad. Alright. So here's our piercing pad. I'm just going to use my big pad of the Island Indigo for right now, just because it's easier for me. It takes me a long time to get those um, stampin' spots open, but you could do either. So totally up to you. So I inked it up, and I'm just going to stamp it right in here. Perfect. Look how stinking cute. So you could do the gift card, but I am going to put one of these party favors or party invitations right in there with it. So this slides out and there's these little indentations and this is where you would put your little invite. And it's actually funny because my birthday is coming up so these would be super cute um, for my invitations. And they're also cute because you could take the um, dimensions and everything and you could make your own of this. So here we go, here is the project for this month. So you pull the pull tab, if I can do it now. <laughs> and then your invitation comes out. How cute, huh? I love it. Okay, so that was the project that the Paper Pumpkin uh, instructed us to do. Now I wanted to come up with an alternate project that we could do uh, with the kit, but also with some of our Occasions catalog stamps. So um, this one is Balloon Adventure stamp set. Uh, it's a photopolymer stamp set that's in our Occasions catalog. I'll have all the product links on my blog, so head on over. The link is in the description below. Um, this is a super cute card that makes it a shaker card. So I know that we all love shaker cards. Um, so this used mostly everything from our Paper Pumpkin kit. 
uh, but just changed it up a little bit. So I made our own designer series paper here in the background with the balloon stamp and the confetti, and I just love how it turned out. I still use the candle on the top. Uh, it might be hard to mail it like this. You might have to bring, we'll bring this down um, a little bit for the card that we make together. But there we go. I used some of the Regal's designer series paper for the inside because we did use Island Indigo and Flirty Flamingo, which were the uh, two spot, stampin' spots that came in the kit. So I used some of the Regal designer series paper to kind of jazz up the inside. Um, so what you'll need for this, um, you could do anything you want, but I'm just going to describe how I did mine, uh, and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do from that. So I did a full card base of Flirty Flamingo cardstock, and so it is uh, the long way. So I did um, 4.25 by 11. That way it would be an up and down card uh, instead of the other way. Um, then I used a uh, piece of the Regal Designer Series paper that was four by five and a quarter. That way we'd have that little bit of outline there. I had some sequins from a previous paper pumpkin, but you can get a sequin trim um, on the Stampin' Up! store, and I will link to that in the uh, on my blog. So let's get started with this. So the first part that you do is that you make this background of the designer series paper. So we're going to do that first. So Balloon Adventures is a photopolymer stamp set, so you will need to use a piercing pad. Um, that way you get a nice crisp image for these cute balloons in the background. So this is the balloon I'm going to be making. In the Balloon Adventures there's lots of different balloon options, but this is my favorite. So I am going to be using the Island Indigo in order to stamp this. So I am um, I'm doing about three across and it will overlay a little bit onto your um, piercing pad so just make sure you clean that up in the end but I'm just making rows of these and again this is just like a quick card that would be nice and easy for invitations And then I go over the entire sheet with the confetti stamp with Flirty Flamingo from the same stamp set. Um, and that I love the little effect that it gives in the background. It just makes it really busy and fun. And yes, I am going to overlap onto the balloons as I go, and that's okay. So again, I'm just stamping across the entire card. You could put a piece of scrap paper on the back there. I did get a little bit on there, but that's okay. But just so you know, you could put a scrap piece of paper down so you don't get any onto the back side of your card. Okay, so here's a tip for the shaker part of the card. What we want to do is we want to have a front thing here that starts with the front of the card that was given to us from Paper Pumpkin. So you want the one where the hole is in it. And what you will do is cut it at uh, the white and at the pink. So this is two and three quarters by about three and a quarter. So you just want that piece that has the box in it already. And then you go from this and make the actual box. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut up on this one all the way up until the top of this blue line. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing over on this one. So this just kind of gives us a nice um, guideline for where we're cutting. So it makes it a little bit easier for us um, just not to make a mistake. And then this should just pop out for you. There we go. So that is what you want to do, and that's going to make it super easy um, to make this shaker card. And then we're going to take that scrap of white piece of paper um, that's two and a half by four and a half, and I'll have all the dimensions on my website for you. We're going to do the sentiments that came in the paper pumpkin kit. So I'm going to do celebrate in the center. You want to have these nice and tight together because this is the shaker card part and it's nice and small so I'm doing the sentiments in 
Flirty Flamingo and the Island Indigo. There we go. So now what we want to do is show where the um, sentiment is coming through. So what you want to do is you want to take a piece from a clear envelope. So I couldn't, I didn't have any acetate. So I thought to myself, what can I use in my collection that will work instead of acetate? So a clear envelope cut in pieces will do the trick. So you want to cut it to exactly the size of your frame here. So we are just going to cut it along with this so that we know it's exactly the length or, you know, the size that we want. So that is three and a quarter by two and three quarters. So again, we're just cutting the clear envelope right now. So you're going to put adhesive around your frame to stick this on. Then you're going to take the clear film and lay it right over your frame. So now you have something like this that has this clear window in it. Then you're going to do, use the foam lines. A lot of paper pumpkin kits have come with this. So what you want to do is all around the edges of your window, you want to put this down. And you can use one piece and just kind of go around the edges. The important part is that you want all the edges to stick together because you don't want this you don't want the sequins to come out. So just make sure all the edges are together. And you don't want it to be seeable from outside your card. There we go. So now you just want to take off the paper protecting on this you want to dump some sequins in there. So I'm using some white sequins that were from a previous paper pumpkin kit, but you could use um, sequins from the sequin trim. So there is that. And then all we do is we lay our sentiment right over it, um, right where the sentiment will be seen. So this is where you got to be careful. You can kind of see through it. Just put it lightly down and then you can check it and then really push it down and there we go. So now all you do is you trim out the white cardstock back here because you won't see this later on. You just want to trim it down so that it's not seen from the front of the card anymore. There we go. So now what you do is you're going to attach the shaker card part to the front of your card. So I'm going to take the candle flame and I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on this. And you want to put it on the back of your shaker card. So what you could do is just put adhesive all around your shaker card. So I put adhesive all around it, put the candle flame on and then you want to put it right in the center, but enough down so that your candle flame is down enough so that it'll fit in an envelope if you mail it. And there we go. There's our shaker card. So then you want to open it up. And now this is where we're going to put the um, DSP and the invitation. So here is my DSP. I cut it at four by five and a quarter, just so a little bit would be shown around the outside. And I used a corner punch just to round the edges, just so that it would look nice and finished. There we go, nice and rounded. You wanna put adhesive on the back. Center it on here. And then all you do is you put 
the invitation from the paper pumpkin kit right in the center. So again, just adhesive and center in the middle here. And there you go. There is your finished second option of a shaker card from our paper pumpkin kit this month. So I hope you liked this card. I love making different cards that you can make with the paper pumpkin kits. Uh, I would love to see what you all make with your paper pumpkin kits and the alternate things that you make with it. Um, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can click over to my blog. It's in the description. It'll have all the supplies I used outside of the paper pumpkin kit uh, and all the dimensions for this second card. And I'll have my Pinterest down there too. Please follow me on Pinterest. I have lots and lots of ideas that are pinned. And again, I really hope you liked this video and I'd love for you to comment below and tell me what you made with your paper pumpkin kit this month. And if you're interested in being a paper pumpkin customer of mine, please reach out to me. There are so many special deals right now that are really good that you should get on now. So please head over to my blog, follow my blog, subscribe to my YouTube, and for now, keep stamping stampers. Bye!